friend Paul Svensson, who has worked with us over the years in the Karbar case, in other civil rights case, in Santa Rita jail case, and he is always with us whenever we need the help from any government agency, be it a discrimination case, be it any other help. So I am really glad that Bob is able to come here. Right now, Bob is working with Reid Miley, supervisor in Alameda County. So if you live in an area like Casco Valley or Hayward, so he's your contact. So if you need anything from the supervisor, you may contact him. And he will also uh, talk more about Bob Wojcicki and then Bob Wojcicki will address, you know, what uh, kinds of help we can look for from the city of Fremont, how we get involved, because we have, I, I emphasize this again and again, I cannot impress it enough that we are going to live here, our children are going to live here, this is our country, this is our home, so get involved, get involved. So we are trying our best from the side of the committee to get involved with the city, get involved with the school uh, board, not only the school board, board in the Union City, but other cities as well, like Fremont, like Hayward, and where there are rough students, we will try that we get started uh, in Punjabi there too, for example, in, in, in Fremont City and Hayward. If we have an rough student, we will go to the school board and we will see that the Punjabi is introduced. And that's only one part. As I explained earlier, that we have classes going on here on SAT and we are also soon, very soon, we are going to start like the classes uh, during, the, during the week to help those students who need help in homework. So we want our students to shine in the academic field. That's what uh, our emphasis is on with that. I will request uh, Bob Swenson to uh, come forward and share his thoughts with the congregation. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. It's been many years since I've had the opportunity to speak here at the Fremont Gurdwara, and I'm very glad that uh, Ram Singh invited me. I recently spoke at the El Sobrante Gurdwara at the memorial service of my good old friend, Ajmer Singh Mali, and it was his fifth year of, uh, since his assassination. I want to report to you that his son, Sadinder Mali, has been achieving a lot in his life, and Sadinder is currently a Senate Fellow in Sacramento working for Senator Jackie Speer. And this was a great honor bestowed on him as 2,000 applicants had put in to become a Senate Fellow. And only 19 were selected, and one of them was Sadinder Mali. So you've got a representative, a person working in Sacramento, he's the only person in the Capitol working for an elected official who wears a turban. He's a Sikh. Um, <clears throat> Ram Singh has been a good friend of mine for some 15 years, and we've worked together on many human rights, civil rights cases uh, involving the Sikh community. Uh, I'm very glad that you have elected Ram as president of your Gurdwara, and it's a wonderful thing because Ram interfaces very well with local government and state government. And he can help the Sikh community get involved. Now today, I'm here to introduce another friend of mine, and his name is Bob Wachowski. And Bob Wachowski has been active in this area in government for an awful long time. He used to work for Congressman Don Edwards, who was one of our finest Congress people. And uh, he, Bob Wachowski also served on the uh, Recreation Commission here in Fremont. And uh, one of the things that Bob had requested while on the Recreation Commission was to include in the Fremont General Plan a cricket field. So someday in the future, 
Fremont will have a cricket field for all you Sikhs out there who like cricket. Uh, Bob has served on the planning commission for many, many years and is well known around Fremont. And recently he ran for city council and he won. Bob Bukowski is now on the Fremont City Council. And Bob Bukowski is a person who likes to outreach to the community. He wants to get to know the people that he represents. He wants to make sure that all you in the city community get all the services that the city can provide you, particularly for the elderly. So Bob Bukowski is one decent human being. I also serve with him on the board of directors of the Urban Village Farmers Market Association. Now, Bob is here also to help promote Durban Day. And he wants to work with the city community and get everyone involved in the community and involved in their own religion. So with that, I'm going to introduce right now my good friend and a good friend of the Sikh community, Bob Wachowski. Why would you keep call sign? Why would you keep the day? Well, thank you, Bob. That was uh, very nice. And I'm, it's actually my honor first to have a turban on and to be here uh, at the Guadalajara uh, to have an opportunity to uh, speak to everybody. Um, it's, well, I think many of you may think that it's important uh, to have elected leaders come here, I want to bring a message to you that it's important for me to learn about the Sikh community and to learn what we can do as elected leaders for the Sikh community because you're part of Fremont. Fremont's very happy to have a diverse uh, community of Sikhs, of Hindus, of, of um, Afghans, uh, and the culture. It's important to have differences of cultures, but also we need to have a diversity of thought. And there's, I wanted to first tell you some new things about Fremont, what's happening in the town, because that's what city council members are supposed to do, let you know the exciting things. And then also to give you an idea of the opportunities that we have at Fremont at the, at the um, Resource Center on the corner of Capitol and Liberty. And then also to make a uh, uh, request for you to get more involved, to have, my hope is to have some of you in the C community apply for one of the boards and commissions that we have in Fremont so that your voices and your thoughts can start coming into the mainstream of, of Fremont. Um, just quickly some new developments that you may see around along in the Fremont uh, uh, coming up. We are starting construction on the Maple Street housing uh, plan. This is about 400 houses, which is in back of the Center Theater in uh, on Maple Street off of Fremont Boulevard. And that's going to go into groundbreaking. I believe it's this week we have a groundbreaking ceremony and you'll actually start seeing housing units. On Tuesday, we are going to consider a Centerville plan, which is the as you drive down Fremont Boulevard, you'll see a section by Thornton that has been demolished and it's an open open lot now and they're seeking approval from the city council to build 110 housing units and 58,000 uh, uh, square feet of commercial retail property and this is an exciting place there in um, in uh, Centerville and also we just a week ago Tuesday uh, approved for a developer a development of a mixed-use uh, site over by the across from the Fremont Hub, which will build uh, 230,000 square feet of commercial space and 300, and possibly if I get my way, 400 new homes in a downtown area, so people can live in the downtown and walk around. So there's a lot of new things that you'll see construction of projects that are going going on in Fremont. Um, Second, I'd like to let, I wanted to come here and let you know about the Family Resource Center. Fremont's a unique city in that each city tries to provide services for, for 
the needy or people in their uh, community. We have an unemployment office that's run by the state of California. We have, um, in case anybody is, uh, is um, threatened by or, or um, beaten up or there's battered, we have a shelter against violent environments which provides counseling. We have counseling for, for high school kids that are there. We have assistance of how, for, how people can get funding for, for Medicaid, for um, health benefits, if you don't have health insurance, or if you have health insurance. Um, so what Fremont has done is rather than have the county agency in one place, the state agency another, and the city agency, we've taken, I believe it's 17 different agencies and put them all together under one roof so that people in the community that might not know about the services that are there. If you're a senior, for instance, and you want to know about opportunities for, for seniors who are seeks to get together, they have programs that are there. And they also, I'll be happy to know, that they have free daycare. So if you're there and you're looking, about, you're looking through a program, let's say job opportunities and job trainings or, or uh, counseling for a high school student, uh, 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 child, that the, Fremont has all of these together. It's on Capitol Avenue and, um, and uh, Liberty. What I would ask or suggest that you do is just go there to walk through because it's open for everybody. Some people take advantage of the services that are there and some people don't. And I understand that they have Punjabi interpreters that are there. So if you have an elderly parent that might feel that, that, that it's not comfortable about going into uh, a resource center like that, then the city tries to reach out and have um, some assistance. Now, it's truly a dream come true for me to be on the city council. And there are four city council members and one mayor. And we make decisions for the entire city of Fremont, which has 215,000 people. But we're not able to make those decisions on our own. I'd like to say that I'm a really intelligent guy and I can make these decisions on my own. But what we have, the way that the city is, is, is structured is that we have different boards and commissions. And we have, everybody knows about the planning commission. When you were building the Guadalajara, you had to go before the planning commission on the design and they would make. Uh, make their recommendation to the city council for approval. But we also have the seniors commission, the human, the historic re historic architectural review board, the recreation commission, which I was on, economic development, and about 12 different commissions. And these commissions are open for anybody who's uh, who lives in Fremont. If you're a resident of Fremont, and what you simply need to do is make a rec fill out an application form and indicate your, uh, your interest to serve on that. Currently, I don't believe we have any Sikhs that serve on any boards and commissions. But in order for the city council to know about your, your views, one, I don't know how many city council members come to the Guadalajara to speak with you, like I am today. Usually, uh, elected officials come if there's an election and I want you to give me money and vote for me. But on the commissions, you're part of the process, the decisions that are made. We have a sister city uh, commission, for instance, and I think next year in uh, Jaipur, we're having a celebration, the 50th anniversary or the 25th anniversary that Jaipur, uh, India, has been part of the, um, the sister city uh, um, relationship with Fremont. Um, it's, unless you take the opportunity to, to join the table, I'm here to give you an invitation to, to come to the table of government in Fremont. And your voice will be, I'll do the best that I can to, to represent all the views of the city, the people in Fremont. But if I have people from the C community who are on the boards, then I know that there's two voices or three voices that are being, um, uh, being heard. Our mayor, Bob Mossman, is the person who actually makes the recommendations, but I get a copy of all the, uh, the applications that come in, and we need your help. Uh, to close, I, I came 
I want to thank all of you for your, your attention. I also serve locally as the chairperson of the 20th Assembly District, and this is um, my friend Alberto Tarico, who is your assemblyman, who represents you in uh, uh, Sacramento. And there's a committee, an organization that I'm the chair of, and we're here today, I have some young Sikhs and some young high school students who are helping me register uh, people, uh, citizens who have not registered to vote. There's two tables outside, and I will be here afterwards uh, to serve as an example of, uh, for all of you to participate in Turban Day coming up on April the 13th, with my nice turban that I have uh, uh, have to but also to sign up anybody who would like to, um, uh, who has not registered to vote and would like to participate in our democratic uh, process. Thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to speaking with some of you after. I would uh, like to take this opportunity to thank both Bob Swenson and Bob Mikowski for coming here and uh, promising to help our community. Again, I cannot stress enough that we, six, must get involved, must. If you can, you have time and you can serve on any commission, not only in three months, Union City, Hayward, New York, Please contact us. We can help us because there is no fee, no nothing. You have to find some time to get involved. So because this is our home, because this is where we are going to, our children are going to grow up, this is where we are going to stay. As Bob said, you must have a voice. If you don't have a voice, nobody cares. That, that's not a good democracy. So we should learn to vote. We are, a lot of us are citizens, but we don't vote. I will say again and again. If you are a citizen, please register to vote. Vote counts. The, you know, like it's not like it's real democracy. It's not like India. You cannot get in touch with the politician. You can talk to any politician anywhere. So one of the things I want to remind you that out of the uh, four councilmen that we talk, actually council members we talk about, there is the one from India. I don't know whether you guys know about that. I just want to mention that. Uh, I think her name is Anu Nadrajan. She is from South India. She ran for the city council but lost. But what they did was they brought her by appointment. She has she has been she was not elected, but she was appointed to the city council. So obviously the message is other communities, even in the Indian communities, are getting much more reward than we are. Our numbers are much more than any other community from India, so we must get involved. Uh, I cannot stress that as a more, you know, like, even if you are young, like, like a student, there are youth commissions, there is a youth commission almost in every city, including Hayward, Union City, and Fremont. So please get involved, let's have a voice. So, so with that, I uh, thank, uh, uh, thank the guests once again, and thank you for listening. Why did you talk us? Why did you talk?